How does it feel? Do you remember stuff? Yeah. <laughs> what did you remember? Mm -hmm. Jeez. <laughs> feel a little like God talking there. <laughs> well, Damn. There, there, <laughs> there is some of that in there. <laughs> wow. <sighs> I loved the boy with the dragon. Yeah, that was I a, loved that. That was very nice. Though. I loved first landing mm -hmm. off the cloud and feeling the cold clay on Into my feet. Clay. And I knew I was a boy and I saw that dragon flying over the lake. And all I could think of was waiting for that dragon to get there just so I could get on it and fly over the lake. I was just yeah. so happy. That sounded like a beautiful past life. I was very intrigued with when uh, you said that you were, I fast you forward and you were in the village where they were having the baby and the baby was blue. It was Martha and Arthur. I wonder why I was watching my birth. Mm hmm. I, I was also intrigued by that. Because when I was on my deathbed, I was confused. I'm like, wait a minute, why would. How is it that I'm on my deathbed and I'm this old man? I've got black hair, white hair down on my feet, on my head and from my face, like the length of my body. But why, how is it that my mother would be sitting beside me as a young woman? And I was a bit like, well, I can't say that. That doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. And then I realized I'd named my daughter after my mother. And I didn't realize that that, I didn't know that I was watching my birth yeah, until that when? Point. On my deathbed until, or yeah. when I passed on? Until until you passed on. I don't know which one it was, but I, I found it quite... Yeah, I found it intriguing too that they had intriguing. showed you that. Yeah. That's why I had asked the subconscious. Do you remember why, how, when they were working on there on the head? Oh, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. They said they had... Thing. My head was just expanding mm -hmm. and opening up, and it was just such a physical experience. It felt so great. I really felt the pressure coming off. And then I lost that sensation in being in that experience when we went to the mouth to heal. That then I just, that sort of the focus of that sort of went. Into and, the, and then we went to the mouth, but it was still there. Mm -hmm. It was pretty much there the whole time. Yeah, I they said they were working on that. feel adjusted. I feel different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they said they were working on that for quite a while until I came back and I confirmed that it was done, that work. And I knew that they were, before you asked the question, I, mm -hmm. I knew that they were going to say yes because I knew that they were. I was in my knowing of that they were working on my head. Mm -hmm. The mouth was done pretty quickly. Yeah, that was pretty fast work there. You remember about the medication? Yeah, I don't need to take it anymore. Hmm. But I found it intriguing that at one point they said that you could program the medication. Well, they they thought it was rather odd. They thought it was kind of comical that I'm helping so many people by telling them that they can program that they them. can do that mm -hmm. and yet i only did it once myself and and it worked i knew it worked so uh, yeah it had worked and had fixed but how i prog programmed it was uh you're going to work more longer term it's not for a dependency i didn't say you're my last one mm -hmm. And this little bell actually came to see me when we were... <laughs> oh, were you coming to see her? She was hi, just Bella? staring in my eyes like this. <laughs> You're like, what's going on with my mommy? Come. You want to come up? Mommy will pick you up. I don't know if she needed to go outside. I got up to open the door and then... Do you have to do business? She went back in her bed. Do you have to do business? Hi. Hello, Bells. What's, what were you doing with my mommy on the bed? Hey, what was going on? What's going on? Everything okay? Do you remember what they said, that uh, the energy with her? Uh, they they repeated uh, innocence and to show me, to remind me to be, uh, when I'm in my gentle energy, mm -hmm. 
that I charge mm. myself. Mm -hmm. That she helps you charge yeah. that gentle energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's when I actually get more strength. Mm -hmm. So that was uh, that was a surprise. Mm -hmm. That was good. Yeah. And your father, Terry, how did you see him? I, I felt him. Mm -hmm. I felt him here. Um, I felt a lot of different things coming through, but I didn't want to say them for some reason. I felt it might have been my left brain interfering there. Mm -hmm. I noticed that to kind of like quiet down a bit there. So then I. But I felt him there. I knew he was there. It's like whatever thought came in, I didn't want to say it. And I went through a series of them, and, and, and then finally I'm like, well, I'm going to say one of them. Mm -hmm. And my mom was here, and my mom... Yeah, we spoke for a while. Yeah, my mom was talking to you for a while there, and then she... And then I could feel my SC going, okay. And then I could feel her sort of... Her energy recede. Mm-hmm. She had a lot to say. Yeah, she did. Mm -hmm. She said that she was coming in for sure. But what I, I can't remember if she was coming in with your daughter. So I think daughter, it's, it's still to be determined if she's coming through, which which child she's yeah, coming through. And, but she is coming in. She and whether it will be it. Terry also. Mm -hmm. and, and they're kind of working together on that right now. So it's it sounds like my dad's got a decision to make. But the feeling is, is that he's still going to stay and work with the earth energy. My feeling is that, and that she'll come through. But which kid, I don't know. And it was almost as if we were kind of smirking. Like, you'll know when you're meant to know. Mm -hmm. Kind of thing. It's still up in the air, but you're, you're thinking along the right lines. Mm -hmm. You might be right with what you're thinking. And then it was, yeah. That was interesting. And then I moved you to um, the menstrual, the blood that was going on there. You remember what they said there? Not knowing my parental value, uh, mm -hmm. loss of power, mm -hmm. it's an old energy. No, generally, but they were uh, they were fixing that as well. Yeah. Mm hmm. Were you feeling something there? No. Mm -hmm. I had no physical experience of the healing, mm -hmm. um, but... Uh, it was more mental? It was more mental that I was releasing uh, parental fear, paralysis mm -hmm. of my ability to protect a child mm -hmm. something like that yeah mm -hmm. and uh jim you remember about your libido and that stuff yeah there's nothing wrong with it it's fine it's just the As nature will you, activate it. Yeah, that you need your time right now. They said that they were fixing his, uh, that that started already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that later on the relationship will be good. Mm -hmm. That's good. And that you were, yeah, you were going to buy that piece of land. Yeah. Do you remember? Buy and build. And I, I felt something ignite when you mentioned about the pyramid mm -hmm. inside the structure. Yeah. I saw that when you were telling me really? earlier, but I didn't want to say anything. Okay. I, I saw the picture of uh, almost like this villas in Mexico where they build around yeah. the land. And then the center of it, it's open. Yeah. And it just has a pyramid roof. That covers it and it connects with the other structures, right? Wow. But that center was a pyramid. Okay. That's, that's what I saw. And it was open, that, and plants and whatever there. 
That's what I'll build. That's what I saw. Mm -hmm. Well, now you telling me that brings me closer to manifesting it. Mm -hmm. I feel it. Yeah, that's what I saw. Wow. In that, in your past lives, you were building pyramids. Mm. Do you remember that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that would be a big uh, power for you. You know how they did that, eh? Mm -hmm. There's There's been some talk about extraterrestrials doing that, that man can't do that. But you know how it was done? Building those? How they were able to lift the heavy rocks? It was all with uh, with consciousness, no? Consciousness and yeah. vibration. They mm -hmm. created sound yeah. to vibrate, to levitate heavy rocks. Yeah, which uh, then uh, after they don't have any weights. Yeah. And the, that's going to come out. All that stuff is getting declassified. Yeah. That's coming out. We're in for some good times. <laughs> and crazy times. Mm. Uh, the protection. Do you remember? The neck. Yeah, but also in the spine. Oh, yeah, spine too? Mm -hmm. This green field mm -hmm. that we're putting through from the spine all the way to the neck. And that, that's where they said that you're losing your powers on the neck and the shoulder area. Yeah. And so they put that protection there. So that won't happen anymore. That's good. That's why I always like to put protection. Then your guardian angels. You did that. You remember their names? Christ, Michael, and Metatron. And they said something about... The female we, counterparts. That we, we should be calling the, them in the, at all times. The divine ma uh, feminine version of them. Mm -hmm. We should always call them both in. Before a session. Yeah. Or at any time, whenever you're invoking angels. How did you they, see they them? want us to bring in the, the the feminine and the masculine energies together. To balance. The, the angels want us to do that. They, their work works better. And when we do that, not only are we helping the planet and helping one another and helping mankind ascend but because we're now privy to this information that we can call in the balance it was less necessary before it's more necessary now yeah, that's what i had a feeling I had yeah that's more necessary now with all this shift yeah. Consciousness that's happening. That we need to raise the vibration higher. Correct. For it to slide in. Yeah. That's that's the feeling I got. And while this shift is going on, that if we can maintain as much balance as possible, mm -hmm. it'll be easier for us. It'll be easier, and so by by always calling in the masculine and the feminine is so important. That's why it's good to balance our own masculine. That's why people are choosing partners that will help keep their masculine and feminine in perfect balance. Mm -hmm. People from your generation are really picking the right partners. People from my kids' generation are really picking the right partners. Mm -hmm. Being being a first wave indigo, it's mm -hmm. been nothing but a shit show, but it could have been a lot worse. Mm -hmm. It's starting to get back into... Yeah. And they said we can use a Megatron... That he helps you in the internet, on the computer. Oh yeah, Metatron, Archangel yeah. Metatron. Metatron. He's magnetic, mm -hmm. so he. Uh, so if you call on him, use your voice. Let him hear the vibration of your voice. Mm -hmm. Let him hear the vibration of your voice. Very good. I will definitely use him because he's magnetic. Yeah. I will definitely use so, I didn't even know he existed. Help with this stuff? Yeah. You didn't? No? No. Help mm -hmm. with your, this stuff. Mm -hmm. You call him in for support for this work and you're sad. Megatron? Met 
Met Metatron. Metatron. Uh, I have I have a statue of him. I'll show it to mm-hmm. you. He's quite something. You can always tell it's Michael because of the shield and the sword. And they don't really look like that. You know that. Yeah, right? I know their yeah. energy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, this is him. Mm-hmm. Okay. Metatron. So you'll always see the cape. You'll see the staff. Mm-hmm. Okay, and you'll. He has a lot more wings. Mm, there's like six wings there. Yeah. Mm. Well, one is, and you can imbue consciousness into these things. This is the only reason why I bought them. Mm-hmm. Because I, I was never a big into angels. And certainly not the way they're portrayed. For some reason, I just innately knew that they didn't look like that. And I didn't need to connect to the image. Yeah. However, knowing what I know or believe I know, being in my belief of, you could imbue consciousness into anything. I'm thinking, mm-hmm. why not get a statue and what can what can it hurt? Yeah, I'm, I'm done. And I feel, you know, I think I'm going to move him. Mm-hmm. Somewhere higher. Yeah. Yeah. That would make sense. Higher up. Do you remember about the crystal they gave you? Apophyllite. I've never heard of that. That's for galactic. It's for communication okay. to... Higher realms, mm-hmm. uh, beings from other planets. A pop, a pop, a p o p h o l, a pop. I think it's and that was an amazing session. Cool, thank you so much. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you. That was awesome. <laughs> Look around you. What's around you? What's the very first thing that you see? I'm on standing on clay, wet clay. Mm -hmm. My bare feet. What color is this clay? Uh, reddish brown. Beautiful. Do you are you there by yourself? Uh, there's a dragon flying around. What color is this dragon? Green. Beautiful. Brown. Mm-hmm. Do you sense that this dragon is your friend? Yes. I see. If you look down at your feet, what are you wearing? Nothing. I have bare feet. Mm-hmm. What does your skin look like? White. White skin. Nice. What kind of clothing are you wearing? I'm wearing brown pads, but they're really short. Mm-hmm. What about on your top. What are you wearing for a shirt? White shirt. White shirt. Are you wearing anything on your head? No. Are you carrying anything? With you? No. Mm-hmm. I see. That's very good. What about the body? Does it feel male or female? I'm a little boy. Mm-hmm. Very good. Does it feel healthy, the body? Yep. Amazing. Very good. What are you doing around there? I'm watching my dragon fly around in circles. Mm Mm-hmm. What is the name of this dragon? I don't know. You cannot always listen, but you can hear them. That's kind of the... What's the name of this dragon? Melvi. Mm-hmm, Melvi. Very good. Very good. Do you sense that you live around there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it very far from where you are? Mm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. 
Is there something in this scene that catches your attention that you must experience? The water. What, is it? what about this water? What does it look like? What does this water look like? It's very still and... What is this? Is it a lake or an ocean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What planet is this on? What's the name of it? I don't know. Mm-hmm. What else that catches your attention? What else about this water? What color is this water? It's like glass, like mirror, like. Mm -hmm. But is it dark? Is it in blue? No, it's like a bright gray blue. Very good. I like it. Mm -hmm. Does the water feel cold or warm? I just like to throw rocks into it and fly over it with my dragon. Mm -hmm. I see. How do you pass your time in this lifetime? I play. Mm -hmm. You play with your dragon? Yep. Very good. Okay. We're going to leave this scene and we're going to move forward to an important day. A day this lifetime we're watching right now. We're drifting and floating to an important day. We have arrived. What's happening? Someone's having a baby. Mm-hmm. Who's <laughs> having a baby? I don't know. Hmm. Where is this? Where are you right now? It's camp. Um... I don't know. Mm hmm. Is there a lot of people there? Yeah. Mm hmm. Is this your family? Mm. What do you perceive? Maybe. What's the name of this baby? I don't know. I, I see a woman squatting. Mm -hmm. And the baby's in her stomach, and she's having it. And mm -hmm. two men are holding her. Is this baby a boy or a girl? I don't know. I see. What's the connection with you and this baby? I think the woman might be an aunt or an older sister or maybe a mother. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, the baby's coming now. I see. Hmm. I don't know if it's a girl or boy, but the baby's out. Let's go ahead and fast forward to when the baby comes out. Are we there? Yeah, the baby's out. The baby's on the ground. Mm -hmm. The baby's blue. Blue baby. That's normal. What's the name of this baby? Arthur. Arthur. Very good. Very good. Who's this baby to you in that lifetime? Brother or cousin? Mm-hmm. Very good. Very good. Great. Who else is around there that catches your attention? Other children, other people? Mm-hmm. Sapphire? Is this your family? Yeah. Sleep here. Mm-hmm. I eat here. What's this place look like? Can you describe it? Like... What do the houses look like? They're white. Mm-hmm. What are they made of? A hide. It's a hide. I see. Where is it made? Is it in the ground or in the mountain? 
It's on the ground. Mm -hmm. I see. On the ground. What else catches your attention in that scene? Something that you must experience, that you must see. I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. I see. I'm eating bread. I'm near a fire. There's a big pot. What is cooking in that pot? There? Meat and vegetables. Very good. That sounds delicious. Hmm. Everybody's gathered around the fire? No, but I'm... I'm... No. Mm -hmm. But I'm sitting there. I see. I'm waiting for someone to give me a bowl. Mm-hmm. I see. Mm-hmm. Very good, very good. Is there something else that catches your attention in this scene that you must experience? Well, no one's paying attention to me and I want to be fed. Mm -hmm. The pot's too big, I can't do it myself. I see. What can we do about that? Oh, I'm eating now. Very good. How does it taste? Good. Mm -hmm. Anything tastes good with hunger. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is there anything else in that scene that catches your attention? I hear horses. What do these horses look like? There's armor on them. What does this armor look like? Metal. Mm hmm. Is it all over the horse? Or yeah. Just... I see. Why are they like that? I don't know. I don't know why they're here. We don't have horses like that. I see. Is there someone riding those horses? Yeah, there's a lot of it now. Mm -hmm. A lot. A lot of horses. Who's riding those horses? Who are those people? Where are they coming from? I don't know. What are they coming to do? I don't know. They're carrying axes. Mm-hmm. Where's your dragon at this point? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I see. Let's go ahead and fast forward. To when this man leave your village, are we there? What did this man do? What were they there to do? Deliver a message. What was the message? I don't know, but they caused some trouble. Mm-hmm. In what sense? They upset some things. Mm-hmm. Some structures, some things. Causing trouble. I see. When you say they upset, what do you the mean? The pot. Mm hmm Is on the ground. What pot? The food pot? Yep. I see. Why and not? a house collapsed. Mm hmm Why would they do something like that? I don't know. They're troublemakers. Uh-huh. They're saying something. They have a message. They're delivering a message. What is this message? We cannot always listen, but we can hear them. Let's ask him what the message was. Looking for the dragon. Mm. I'm hiding in the trees. I see. The dragon's going to fly away with me. Mm hmm. They want your dragon. Yep. I see. Do you get away with the dragon? Yep. Of Very. course, I always do. Very good. Very good. Okay. Is there anything else that catches your attention in that scene? That you must live, that you must experience? The baby's still on the ground. Hmm. And the mother of the baby, where is she? She's lying on the ground. Lying dead, or...? No. Mm-hmm. I see. Why doesn't she hold the baby? 
Not at all. Mm -hmm. What's so intriguing about this baby that catches your attention? It's blue. It's blue. Still blue? Yeah. Because usually when they, when they come out of the belly, they're blue. Because their body is just adapting at that point. But if it still remain blue, it must be like that. Hmm. Where is this baby coming from? I don't know. What is it coming to do? I don't know. Let's see. Okay. She's holding the baby now. Beautiful. Excellent. What's the name of this lady that's holding the baby? Martha. Martha. And the baby's Arthur. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Now, let's leave that scene and let's move forward to another important day. A day that you consider to be important when something is happening. Mm. We have now moved forward to an important day. What is happening? What do you see? I'm in battle. I'm a man. I have a shield and a spear. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing armor and I fight with my dragon. Very good. You're on, on the dragon at mm. Yeah. I see. Very good. Who are you fighting? Darkness. Uh huh. What are this darkness called? What do they call them? You cannot always hear them, but you can listen. I don't know. Mm hmm. Let's see. Is there anything else in that scene that catches your attention? There are other dragons, but they're not like my dragon. What's the difference? My dragon helps me fight for the light. Mm hmm. What about the other dragons? They fight for the darkness. I see. What color are those dragons? Black. Hmm. Very good. What do they call those black dragons? And what is this black darkness called? What do the people call it? Dracones. Mm hmm. I see. Dracones. Oh, very intriguing. Very good. Excellent. Mm, very good. Now, let's leave that scene. We're going to go ahead and move forward to the last day of your life. In this lifetime we're watching. We're there. What is happening? What do you see? I'm very old. Mm hmm. What does the body feel? Good. Mm hmm. You're very old. Where are you? Where are you now at the moment? I'm on a bed in a castle, but I'm very high up. Mm -hmm. I have very, very, very long white hair and a long white beard. I see. And I'm very skinny. Who's sitting around you at the moment? Who's with you there? My daughter. What's her name? Martha. Mm-hmm. I see. So that the son that Martha had was Arthur. Yes. I see. Are you putting all the pieces together now? Mm -hmm. Who else is there? Is anyone else there around you? You won't feel anything physically or mentally. You can talk about it. Who else is there? I think it's just her and um, someone that is around if I need to be bathed. Mm -hmm. Very good. Somebody standing there holding a Bible. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, whatever happened, 
has already happened, and you are on the other side of it. From that position, you can look back at entire life and see it from a different perspective. Every life has a lesson and a purpose. As you look back at that life, what did you learn from it? What do you think was the purpose of that lifetime? Loyalty to the light. Mm -hmm. Very good. Loyalty to the light. Very good. Excellent. Where are you now? I'm back with my dragon. I missed my dragon. My dragon died before me and I mm. was separated. How did he die? In battle. I see. Where is this dragon now? With me now. Mm -hmm. Together. And where are you both? In the light. Very good. Very good. We're both light beings now. Mm, excellent. We'll work together again. Mm-hmm. Very good. What do they call this light place? It's just pure white light. Mm-hmm. Let's absorb some of that light, that healing light. Mm. How does that feel? Good. Let's absorb some more of that light. It's very good for you. Now, let's drift away from that life. We're drifting and floating away from that life, leaving the man there and the dragon to continue on their own journey. They will find peace. They will find what they are supposed to find. We're leaving them there to continue on their own journey. They will find peace. They will find what they are supposed to find. We are leaving them there to continue on their own path. Now, I want all of the consciousness and personality of Christine to once again return to the body and fully integrate back into the body. Now, may I speak with Christine subconscious, please? Yes. I have permission to speak to Christine's subconscious. Yes. I respect the power of the subconscious because I know the subconscious takes care of Christine's body and does a very good job of it. I also know that the subconscious has all the records of everything that has ever happened to Christine in this life and all the other lifetimes she has ever lived, so I respect the power of the subconscious, and I always ask for permission to speak to it and ask questions. Do I have permission to ask questions? Yes. I know the subconscious could have brought forth many different lifetimes for Christine to see today. You chose to bring forward that lifetime for her to see when she was this boy riding her dragon. Why did you pick that lifetime for her to see today? To remind her that this life is just another example of what she's always done. Very good. So this life is just an example of what she's always done. She's always fight for the light correct? Oh, yeah. I see. Why did you show her that scene where that lady was having that boy, that blue boy? What's the meaning of this? Are they connected? The boy was him. He was watching, he was witnessing his birth. Mm, very good. Very good. Excellent. I see. And this woman, Margaret, that was his, her mother, or his mother at the time, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is she here in this lifetime now? 
He named his daughter after his mother. He named his daughter after his mother. Very good. The dragon is with her in this life as well. Who is he? She can call him in. The dragon has been with her for What's the dragon's many name? lives. What's the dragon's name? Melvin. Mm-hmm. He can she can call him in. Would he like to speak now? Does he have a message? <sighs> you don't feel anything? Mentally or physically. We can talk about it. He's here to serve. Very good. He's here to serve. He's with the color gold. Very beautiful. Beautiful the gold color. And jade. Green jade. Mm-hmm. It's just something that Christine needs to get. She just got it. What did she get? Green jade. Very good. Mm-hmm. What does she need to do with this? Dragon is here to assist her in any endeavor. Very good. So she can call upon him any time. But not like before, not the old energy. Mm -hmm. In a new way. In a new way. Which is this new way? They'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Just having him brown will make her feel better. Will we'll up her frequency and vibration. Mm, yeah, he already does that for her. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't receive it like she could. I see. Why is that? Is there something blocking this? Because she doesn't invoke him. Mm -hmm. As much as... But now that she knows, this will be easier for her. Correct? Yes. Very good. Very good. Can we go ahead and do a full body scan on Christine today? Let me know what you find. The skull is compressed. Why is this? Why is this happening to Christine? Is this why she's having the migraines and the headaches? Yes. What's going on there? Currently, this is why. What's going on there? What's happening? Why is this happening to her? Why is this happening to her? Where is this coming from? Forcing. Forcing. What? Forcing too hard. Mm hmm. What is she forcing to hurt? But she's learning. I see. Integrating. Integrating. Can we go ahead and relieve this for her today? She has learned from it. But she's not. She does not need this anymore. Correct? Can we relieve this? Well, mm -hmm. it's been done many times before. Mm hmm. Why does it keep coming back? Can we go ahead and set up protection there so this doesn't happen again? Can we do that today for Christine? Protection for what? So this compression of the skull does not happen again. Can we do this? Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Can you walk me through as you do it? What are you doing? I'm at the fontanelle. The front lobe? Fontanelle. Mm-hmm. Pulling up. Opening the bones at the base of the skull. Very good. Very good. The ear. Mm-hmm. Temple. I see. Temple. What else? Jaw. The jaw. Very good. She won't be feeling that anymore. Is this a big job? Or will it be finished today during this session? Check in with me later. I'll let you know. Very good. Very good. 
can ask you other questions in the meantime while you work on them. Yes. Excellent. And do you see what's going on with our teeth there? With Christine's teeth and our gums? What's going on there? Anger. Mm-hmm. Because that's what's building her. Can we go ahead and release that to them? And regenerate the enamel in the gums. Yeah, good idea. Excellent. Can you tell me what you're doing as you do it? What are you doing at the moment? Strengthening the enamel. Mm hmm. Very good. Very good. Is that a big job? Uh, no. The gums also, it's about the same. Mm -hmm. There's memory, a lot of memory here. A lot of memory? A lot of, Jesus. What's going on there? A lot of... storing. Can we go ahead and clear that up today? Yeah. How are you going to do that? Can you walk me through as you do it? It's done. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Christine was mentioning about her retainers. What's going on with that? Should she be putting those retainers in? Yeah. What is this going to do to her? It's not a bad idea. She not a bad idea. Yeah, she doesn't have to worry about it. Mm hmm She doesn't have to worry about it. Yeah. Very good. Can we go ahead and do a connection with Christine's father today, Terry? Is he okay? And does he have a message for Christine today? How is Terry doing? And does he have a message for Christine today? What's the message? You cannot always listen, but you can hear them. What's the message? What is he saying? Mm. I'll be able to do that connection today with Terry. Does he need our help today? He's fine with where he is. Mm -hmm. Very good. What's the message he's trying to pass on to Christine? What is he saying? Keep up the good work. Very good. Beautiful. Let's thank him for his message. With much love. What about Christine's mother, Margaret? Is she okay? Does she have a message for Christine today? What's the message? Who's Margaret today? Peaceful. Very good. Very good. Did she have a message for Christine today? What's the message? What you're thinking. Mm -hmm. Maybe right. Mm-hmm. What is she thinking? What you're thinking may be right. What is the meaning of that? It may be her coming in. Mm-hmm. It may be her coming in. 
Okay, let's see. Is she coming in as Kyle's daughter? It's still to be determined. Mm -hmm. It's possible. It's possible. Let's the daughter see. is also having a child. Mm -hmm. The daughter will have this child. There will not be another miscarriage. Very good. Where's this child coming from? Hmm. Hmm. What's the message here? Hmm. To be determined. Very good. Very good. What about Kyle's child? Where is that child coming from? Well, it might be me coming in. Mm-hmm. Very good. But it's not decided yet. Me as in Margaret? Yes. Very good. What you will be coming in for if you do come in? Oh, I'm coming in. Mm-hmm. What will be your purpose here? To teach family love. Very good. Very good. Excellent. To reunite. Reunite the family. These How can we help them? This needs to end this mm -hmm. brother and sister stuff. I see. What can we do to better that situation right now? She's doing it. She's doing a good job. She's doing a good job. Christina. Hold the space for her sister. We're working on her. Mm -hmm. Her father and I are working on her. So Margaret and Terry are together. At times. At times. Very good. Not in a way you'll understand. Mm-hmm. As energies. Am I correct? Yes. Very good. Hmm. What about the sister, Jennifer? She's in a good place right now, but she has work to do. Mm hmm. How can we help her today? Chrissy's helping her. Mm hmm. By working through what she has to work through for herself. She's helping her sister. I see. Very good. That's very good. What about her brother, Carrie? What's happening there? He needs to let go. Let go of what? Events and things that have happened in the past. Mm -hmm. He's spending too much time there. He doesn't see. see the change in Chrissy and doesn't see Can we go ahead and uh, the growth. And give him a hand with that. Can we help that situation right now? And how? We can connect mm -hmm. them more. I see. Energetically, we're mm -hmm. just beginning to do this now. How are we going to do that? Can you walk me through what you're doing? It's a silver thread. Very good. Can we change that silver thread into gold? For more power. Is that possible? The silver will work best for now. Very good. Very good. So that's going to patch things up for the moment. They'll... work together to heal in ways that they're not aware of for the time being. Mm, excellent. Very good. Mm -hmm. 
Can I ask another question in the meantime? Yes, of course. What's going on with Christine's menstrual blood? I have, a, I have an understanding that she's bleeding profoundly. A lot. Why is this? What's going on there? Where is all this blood coming from? And for what? It's an old belief. Mm -hmm. What's this old belief? That she didn't know her importance. She didn't know her value as a mother. Mm -hmm. She was unaware. I see, but now she's aware, correct? Oh, yeah. So she doesn't need that anymore. Can we go ahead and, and help her in this situation? And how? What can we do there to alleviate this? I have an understanding that she has a lot of cramps due to this bleeding. Her hormones are all over the place. Can we fix this? Can we help her today? And how? The loss of blood is from an old belief pattern. Mm -hmm. Can we go ahead? It's and a loss of power. Lots of loss of power. The cramps are coming from. It's a defense that the body is putting up. The body is. The body is is reacting to the ascension. Mm -hmm. To the ascension. There's nothing to worry about. It's integration. It's just trouble with integrating. It's normal. It's normal. Many of you are going through this. Am I going through this? You have gone through this. So I'm already, I'm already ascended. No. <laughs> <laughs> I see. You're there. I'm there. Very good. You have to believe that you're there. Mm -hmm. Your body doesn't always know it's there. Mm -hmm. you got to bring your body with you. With me? In which way? Bring your body to your ascension level. How may I do this? By remembering that you chose it to have a human experience here. Very good. Very good. Thank and you. you forget that. We do. In this lifetime, yes. And I will remember. Thank you. Can we go ahead and alleviate Christine's discomfort? and help her in her ascension. Can we do that today? And how are we going to do that? By speaking to the muscles. Very good. Are you doing that right now? Encoding information. Mm-hmm. Where? Into the filaments. Encoding information into the filaments. Where? In the muscle. Which muscles? The feet and the legs. Very good. The feet and the legs. The back. The back. What about her neck? Shoulder. This is where Protection can be applied. Mm -hmm. Can we go ahead and do that at the same time? What kind of protection are you going to put there? Can you explain to me? Can you elaborate as you do it? What protection have you chosen for Christine today? It's 
It's an energy shield. It's green. It's green. Where is this energy shield? We're placing it on the spinal column. Very good. Around the neck where mm -hmm. she loses a lot of power. Very good. So this will not happen to her anymore, correct? Her power will remain with her. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. Has the work been done there? Yes. Mm hmm. What about the, the, the migraines and the compression of the skull? Was that work completed? Yes, that was completed. She felt a lot of work being done. Very good. What about her right shoulder and the muscles in the neck there? What's going on there? Shouldering responsibility for Jim. Mm hmm. It's yes. coming from the house. From the house. Very good. It's nothing to worry about. They'll they'll come together more in the summer and they'll enjoy the backyard and mm -hmm. the tissue will heal. They'll start to realize that that they're meant for each other? What's going on there in that relationship? What's happening there? Are they meant for each other? In this lifetime? Yes. Mm hmm. Was Jim there in Christine's past life? Was he there for her? They've been together before. I see. Very good. What about this medication that Christine is taking for migraines? Is that Tropa? She should. Practice what she preaches. <laughs> she tells her clients to program their medication. Mm -hmm. She did it once for herself, and she hasn't done it since. We're wondering why. Very good. She's got all the power and the knowledge. Mm -hmm. So what must she do? She needs to program the pill before she takes it. So that means that she needs to program it before she takes it, so that means she needs to keep taking it? And for how long? She won't have to take the medication. When must she stop this medication? Now. Not this very day? Yes. She doesn't need that anymore? No, not with what we just did. What did you guys just do? We expanded her head. Very good. Beautiful. And the bones are going to be able to stay in one position more. There's more space in the sutures. Amazing. Yes. You guys work wonders. Yes. Very good. She'll be much appreciated with that work done. Yes. Very good. What about her teeth there? Has that work been completed? Has yes. It, the gums and enamel? Oh, yes. She won't be feeling that anymore? No. Beautiful. You guys are amazing. She'll be very happy. What's going on with her libido there? What's happening there? Do you see that? Why is this happening to her? There's nothing wrong with her libido. Mm -hmm. It's better than ever. I see. There's more light emissions. Mm -hmm. She's right. She did what she was supposed to do. I see. What about Jim? What happened with his penis? <laughs> What's going on there? Oh, Jim. Did that happen? Did Christine did that to him? No. So what happened there? This is self-love. A lack of self-love. Prolonging. 
from Jen. Enjoyment, prolonging, receiving, pleasure. He's done it so much. It's a really hard pattern to break. Mm -hmm. So we have to bend his penis. We have to get his attention. Mm -hmm. Well, you learn from that now. I think you, I believe you got the message. He's doing beautifully with it. So can we go ahead and fix that for him? It's already been started. Beautiful. And he knows it. Christine and Jim will be much appreciated with that work done there. Huh. That's not their problem. It's not their problem? No. What's their problem? What's going on there? She's not ready. Not ready for? For what? To experiment with the new way of making love. Mm-hmm. Can you elaborate a bit more on that? She wants to connect spiritually. With Jim. In the lovemaking. But she doesn't know how yet. She hasn't got it figured out. Can we help her with that? Is there something she needs to do to speed up this process? What can she do? How can we help her? She needs, this will go away. You just get her near some trees. Very good. I see. She's, she told me about that. Christine told me that she, she wants to live in nature. She lives in nature. The nature will rebalance her. I see. It will take care of everything. What about this meditation technique I just showed her today? Will that help her? Well, she puts her feet in the ground during meditation. Yes, that was very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This will rebalance her. Tremendously. Amazing. Very good. I believe you guys gave me that trick there. <laughs> what about... She sees these plans with this future. She believes this money is going to come into her life. How is this money coming into her life? Will she be receiving a large amount of money? The universe is giving her a gift. Beautiful. Will she be able to manage this gift correctly? We're watching for that. It's mm -hmm. all a matter of timing. She's very, very close. She's had some very good insights, even today, mm -hmm. this morning. I see. We just want to make sure that she's got it all understood mm -hmm. so that she doesn't squander it away, that she understands how to look at things, how to not. Mm -hmm. What she must do with this money? What is the plan there? Oh, it's her? to help anchor the light. Anchor the light in oh, which yeah. way? Oh. Can you elaborate on that? Have you met her? I have, yes. She yes. has so much potential. Yes, she's a very powerful person. How can we help her see this? The problem is, is there's so much potential that this all needs to get it's kind of part of the problem right now. Mm -hmm. She needs to What does she need to do? She needs to slow down and anchor. Mm hmm And anchor to be able to to continue the plan. Yeah. You need her. Mm hmm What do you need her to do for this plan? 
in order to not uh, try to worry too much don't put don't focus too much on what you're going to do with it let us show you slowly I see see. because she's going to damage herself she's going to go in too hard too fast I see so you guys will take care of that we need her grounded we need her to know she could handle the responsibility of the money Mm -hmm. we know she can we need to know she knows she can and then it's literally going to drop in her lap should I be helping Christine with this plan Your ideas of anchoring are what she needs to hear. Mm -hmm. When the money comes, she'll reach out to you. Very good. I should be able to help her. Do you want to help her? Always. Thy will be done. Thank you. Thank you. Can I ask you another question in the meantime? Yes. Where will she be living in the near future? Near future? Mm-hmm. Not far from should, here. Should she be purchasing some land or something? Yes. I understand she wants to construct her own house. That would be wise. Very good. She'll do well with that. Very good. It's in the building that the information will come in. In the building? She's a builder. She came here to build. I see. I understand she wants to build like a wellness center or something. She's a builder. She was a builder in her past life. Many times. What was she building? Great things. Like what? Can you name a few, please? Pyramids. Beautiful. What color were these pyramids? Gold. Wow. Beautiful. Very beautiful. So that means that she should build this place, make it into her home wellness center. Yes. Very good. I just had the picture in my head this morning when she was talking about it. That she should build some sort of box on the outside, but in the middle would be a pyramid. Is that picture good? Indeed. Mm -hmm. I see. It's beginning already. Very good. Can yes, I go ahead we and think a- so. Can I go ahead and ask you which guardian angels and how many guardian angels and their name that Christine has with her? Jesus is her ascended master. Beautiful. That's why she has this healing power when she touches people. She creates a connection between them. Is that correct? Yes. She's feeling the energy in her hands now. Mm -hmm. Very good. We want her to lay her hands on people more often. Yeah. She told me that today. Mm -hmm. But we understand why she's not. Why is that? She's got so much going on. Mm Mm-hmm. But that will come later on in time, correct? Yes. Yes. It will get sorted out and flow beautifully. Beautiful. Can we go ahead and initiate that alignment today? Yes, that was done when you told her about the pyramid in the building. Beautiful. So... Are there any other guardian angels with her? Michael Metrotron. Michael Metrotron? 
Archangel Michael, mm -hmm. Archangel Metatron. Metatron, it's the first time I'm hearing this one. What does he look like? So Metatron is the vibration. Metatron is magnetic. Beautiful. He helps her when she has trouble with ping on the internet. Very good. Can I call up on him as well? Oh, yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Are there any others? You both should invoke the archangels and at the same time invoke the feminine counterpart. We should invoke the arch archangels and also the feminine. And their feminine counterpart. Their feminine counterpart? Yes. What is the meaning of that? Archangel Faith. Faith. Faith, Faith. is with Michael. Mm-hmm. And their feminine counterpart. I haven't heard about this. What is this? You'll f you'll find out. You'll look it up. Mm-hmm. It'll come to you. Very intriguing. Very beautiful. We'll message. bring it to you. It's how you anchor the divine masculine and feminine. Beautiful. You should always invoke both. Before starting a session? Yes. They are one. Beautiful. Thank you for that message. That's the key to the balance. Mm. You both forget that. Yes, we do sometimes. Mm -hmm. Is there a crystal that would benefit Christine? That would elevate her vibration and help her in her daily life? What crystal is this one? Could be a stone or a crystal. Does she have it with her here? Pophilite. Pophilite is the color of this. White. And what would this do to Christine? Improve communication. Mm-hmm. Very good. Should she be wearing this on her? She should lie down and place it on her chakras. All her chakras? Yes. I see. So she needs to get seven of them? Yes. And the name was Pophilite? Apophilite. Apophilite. Very good. Is there on any other crystal that she must get? She knows. She knows. Very good. Is there any truth with the message that she got about initiating a woman with crystals and what kind of business it would be? Is this the one we were talking about? It's the work she's done with Mary and Magdalene. Mary and Magdalene. Mm -hmm. So she should finish this work? It's the Magdalene energy. Magdalene energy. I see. The power of Isis will assist. Mm -hmm. In which way? Focus on the eye of Horus. Focus on the eye of Horus. Isis will be here. She works with the Magdalene. Mm -hmm. When will Isis be here? Isis is here all the time with her. I see. That's the energy that she feels. Yes, she studied directly under Isis. Beautiful. She would go inside the pyramids and study and learn. Mm hmm. That's why she needs to build. Yes. Beautiful. Can we go ahead and call Bella subconscious in today? Is that possible? It's Bella's here. What does she have to say? Gentle. Gentle. What does she mean by that? 
to remind Christine to let go of the old harsh energy. The what? The old harsh energy. Mm -hmm. And to bring in, to work with the more gentle energy. I see. Will Christine know which energy Bella's talking about? Christine feels it when she looks at Bella. Beautiful. Does she have any other messages? Reminds her of her innocence. Mm -hmm. Reminds her of her gentle side. Her gentle side. When she's in that gentle side, mm -hmm. she actually amplifies her energy. And this is how she charges herself. Beautiful. Can we go ahead and do a full body scan on Bella today? To see if everything is okay with her. Yes, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Let me know if you find anything that we need to notify today. Need to address today. Lean as a whistle. Beautiful. Beautiful. Can we go ahead and do a, another full body scan on Christine today? Mm -hmm. Just to make sure everything is top notch. Let me know if you find anything at all. The left side is displaced. Mm hmm. What's going on there? Why is that happening to Christine? She's trying to force. Too much force. Mm hmm. Too much force. From the past, mostly. Go ahead and cut the Christine's contracts from the past. In the present lifetime, that does not serve her or herself. Are there many contracts there? What's going on there? We're severing. Mm -hmm. It's being done. How many were there? Oh. Too many to count. How did she cut them? Fire. Beautiful. So she won't be feeling that anymore, is that correct? Mm, she's going to feel a lot lighter. Amazing. Is there anything else that we need to address on Christine today? Let go of the old anchoring to sadness. Mm hmm. How can we do that today? Doing it now. Can you walk me through as you do it? She's. Hmm? She's, she's floating, mm -hmm. floating away mm -hmm. from the old. Beautiful. So she'll be lighter now. She'll be lighter, mm -hmm. but she'll be more present. Amazing. Very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that we need to do on Christine today? What did you find? Is there anything else going on there? Yeah, the nervous system is... Uh, What's going on there with the nervous it's system? It's being rebalanced. We're relaxing her more. Mm hmm What's going on there? Just too much force. Mm hmm Too much pressure on herself. Yeah, when she realizes something, then she just tries to turn it around. Mm hmm Overnight, and she actually does. <laughs> She's quite... quite the... She can really burn off old energy very quickly. Very good. But then she tries to just create and build too quickly. She doesn't give herself time for healing. Mm -hmm. So we're, we have to repair, we have to repair wounds that she's created on herself. 
mm-hmm. by trying to bring in too much light at one time. Beautiful. The light can integrate into the body and it it exits and it tears her open. Mm-hmm. It's too much energy at one time for the body. Yeah, but she doesn't do this that much anymore. She's okay. Beautiful. The nervous system remembers this and it Mm. It's on guard. It's on guard. I see. The old warrior. Mm -hmm. It's the spiritual warrior energy. It's very... I see. But she's all good now. Yes. Mm -hmm. How long will that job take? When she sleeps tonight, this is when we will... Work on her? Yes. For how many nights? Just tonight. Just tonight, so it'll be done completely after. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Should be much appreciated. Yes. This was good for her. Mm Mm-hmm. Very good. Can I ask you another question? Yes. Can I ask you to do a full body scan on myself? What did you find? There are there's a lot being done right now with you. Like what? You are doing a lot of healing right now. Mm-hmm. Name of what? There is much light in your body. Mm-hmm. When was that process initiated? You had much done today. Today? Is there any other messages for Christine, for myself, and for the world today that we need to pass on? Any other parting messages? Keep doing what you're doing. The light is already won. Yeah, I feel that. Has this is this the same for Venezuela? What's happening in that country? They have their own problems, but what is also happening at the same time the light is getting much stronger there. Mm-hmm. But the darkness is also getting stronger. But it won't last for long. Roughly how long? You know. Mm-hmm. You have an idea. Mm-hmm. It's not important. Don't get distracted. Get ready, dear one. That was for Christine. That was for Christine. To get ready. For what? For the light. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. For discovering who she really is. Mm -hmm. She will step in more fully. And we will rejoice. Very good. Very beautiful message. Can I ask you if you have a name? What do they call you? We are collective. Collective consciousness. We are one. Mm -hmm. We are love. Beautiful. We are creation. Mm -hmm. Will you guys be appearing anytime soon? We're appearing all the time. Aren't we? You are? 
Yes. Certain places. Yes. But more so, so everybody gets the point. You know what I mean? We have to spoon spoon feed them, <laughs> dear one. Everybody's we so don't little. need many to wake up. Mm-hmm. We only need a small percentage. Yeah, Here. that's happening already. Very much like Christine in that way. Be careful. Mm-hmm. Enjoy. We shall. Enjoy your strength and your energy. Enjoy your healthy bodies. Thank you. We do appreciate it. And be patient with your bodies. Mm-hmm. Your bodies need to take longer. They have their own terms and conditions. You must remember that. I see. Is there something that we can do to help that process? Don't force your divinity on the body. Mm -hmm. Just like we don't force it on you. We wait patiently. We take it slow. Yes. Mm -hmm. The body's already in escalation. That is enough. Mm -hmm. You will be provided with the necessary health as you go. You are supported. There is abundance here for both of you in the health. Keep following the path. You will be provided for. Michelle. Yes. Thank you. Very beautiful message. Indeed. Now, with much thanks, much love, I'm asking the subconscious to recede to where it belongs. <laughs>